the SLC slash Lamborghini Sesto Elemento is on the trailer being unloaded because it's getting traded for something. Three, two, one. Hey everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update before we start today's video. A lot of you have been asking about Car Trek and Car Trek is in the works. We should have the first episode up on the 20th of December and we have six episodes this series and you're gonna want to see this. Here's a sneak peek. How many things do you think are gonna fall off this car? Here we go. That's how you light up the tires. Yeah. I bet the trunk of that thing is full of Mountain Dew, dip cans, and notices of license suspension. It's full of oil smoke. Yes. There we go. Like So definitely stay tuned for that. But without further ado, here's the story of how I traded my fake Lamborghini for something a little bit more fun. All right, so it is the next day and the SLC slash Lamborghini Sesto Elemento is on the trailer being unloaded because it's getting traded for something. And Jared's really excited about it. I mean, you are just oh, yeah. ecstatic, aren't you? I am ecstatic. Three, two, one, ta-da! Oh, 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 would you just, just look at him. Jared, Jared, I, I, Jared, I look at him. Look at him. He's a beautiful boy. So we have a Mazda RX-7 FD. Nana sound. It, it has Nana sound. Uh, I get, this may be a real RE Amamiya kit. I'm not sure if it is, maybe, I don't know, but it has a ton of stickers. You got, an, you got anime on the side, and you got like anime on the, on the front. Which one is that from? I don't know, you guys in the comments can tell me what this is from. Um, is it from an anime called Bardish Assault? I'm sure. That's, is this, are these letters? Okay guys, so while we're on the subject of anime, let's say you are the previous owner of my RX-7 and you wanna watch something that is not available in your country. Well, that is no longer a problem because of today's sponsor, NordVPN. So NordVPN is a virtual private network that gives you access from anywhere. It just takes a click. You can open the map, click on a location, and you'll be connected in seconds. It's just that easy. Also, you can avoid bandwidth throttling. NordVPN encrypts all your traffic so your internet service provider can't slow down your streaming speed. You can also find streaming platforms at a lower price. A platform isn't available in your country, simply change your virtual location. And the same goes with games. If a game isn't available in your country, just change your location and buy it. They have over 5,200 servers in 60 countries. Find a server near you for better speed or in a faraway location for more content. And it's available on every major platform. That's Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Linux. Even your Android TV supports NordVPN. So go check out the link in the description below to get your two year plan with one additional month at a huge discount. Go click it right now. Ooh, I noticed something that's actually really good in the passenger seat. Oh, that's an Apex uh, FC, right? Yeah, the, the actual handheld for the computer, those are always missing. You know what's actually really cool? The fact that this is here, because usually on every single FD, these are all broken. So we have John here. So John is, well, he's the old owner of this car and the new owner of that one. 
Uh, I think that one is probably a little bit faster. It's definitely way more reliable. It's, I mean, you're, you're probably not wrong. I don't want to upset anybody, but uh, you're, probably, <laughs> you're probably not wrong. So you said the it's bottom thing is a spell. Yeah, it's a spell from, I believe, from the show. And I think the name of it is something um, like the, the weapon, like an axe weapon that was used in the show or a part of the show. Yeah. Um, but don't don't quote me on it. That's just a little bit of digging that I was able to do about it. Fam. Fam. I mean, the, I, just, l just look at that. That is... That is both impractical and also like the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's ready V mount with the twin intake, which means you're still on sequentials, yep. which means it probably has the rabbit's nest and just absolute nightmarish uh, sequential plumbing in there that goes wrong and has like 30 hoses to control a very simple function. So the way um, that this works is there's two turbos, one slightly smaller, one slightly bigger, and they come online at different times. And what happens is after vacuum hoses, they crack and they deteriorate. That stops working as good. Uh, and then you have issues with the turbo system, you have issues with power delivery, and then you start running rich and all that stuff. And when that happens, you gotta change out the spark plugs, which are uh, down there. And they're really kind of hard to get because when you have all the stock equipment, there's not a ton of room in here. It's it's really it's really a, a tight fit. Uh, but the big kind of V-mount intercooler that's super cool. We have a uh, some, a set of intakes here, which is kind of cool. Don't know what this is. What's what's that? That's a boost controller. Yeah. Oh, it's old school. Yeah. yeah that looks. Uh, is that a Profect B probably? I mean, yeah, I guess. Oh, it, no, that's HKS. That's an old school HKS. Yeah. So this, okay. It was definitely a drift car in Japan, so mm -hmm. it's got some nice parts on it. You can tell, especially with the front bumper on the other side, that it was a drift car. And the fact that uh, the, uh, the, the the front wheels, wheels and the rear yeah, wheels yeah, are two different types. Telltale yeah. signs for sure, the missing, missing piece here, you know. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It flew off. It was going too fast. So, honestly. It's got extra wire for you. Yeah, there's extra wires, you know. You never know when you'll need it. The extra extended uh, turn signal knob to make it you, so you don't have to reach to turn yes. your turn signals on. Is that's, that that's is actually, that from a bicycle? It's, it's actually nice. It's actually a nice touch. Nice you can completely adjust it however you want. I, I actually I noticed it on one of the cars I was driving and I was like going to shift and I didn't have to reach and I was like, oh, that's actually kind of nice. <laughs> Dude. It'll be a good reminder too because a lot of times you run into if you drive right-hand drive cars in the left-hand drive country. You turn your wipers and turn signals are flip flopped, mm -hmm. and it's a weird thing. You'll constantly turn your wipers on when you're hitting the turnstock because you reach with your left hand out of habit. That's actually a thing with uh, just Japan because if you go to UK, the turn signals are the way you you think they are. So you would have to change your turn signal with your shifting hand. Uh, yeah. So That's your your turn signal, uh, no, basically no, no, no. The, the turn signals and the wiper stocks in a UK, at least in in the cars I've driven. They're the same way that that you, that you or I would do it. It's just in a right-hand drive car. But that, here they reverse it. Yeah. Because well, because to me it makes sense the way they do it because yeah. you can keep your hand on the shifter and put your blinker on with yeah. this. Yeah. So if you're shifting, it. you can indicate. Like yeah. It, that's interesting. Can we hear this? Yeah. Do I, you can crank it up. If you want. Oh, I'm gonna crank it up. So yeah. here. Yeah. I did. I did have it running. So it's it's probably it's it's gonna be subtle. Okay. So that that's what you have to do with a rotary <laughs> to make it look good. Yeah. You have to make sure it runs for three hours before anybody gets there. Right. My yeah. carbon monoxide sensor was going off. Good. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on. We have acquired peak anime here. This gauge has no numbers on it. I mean, uh, that's... Okay, all right. Oh, dude, there's there's even more here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh. <laughs> Take a look at that. So there's anime here. There's some, uh, some nice... Is there any ruby? What? That, that's the only anime I know. I don't know any of that. What? So this what is, are you monitoring? Uh, clutch in or no? Whatever you want. Don't need to in Japanese cars. Okay. That's a rotary. Oh, she's yelling at you. So many things are just yelling at me right now. It actually lights up oh. things. Oh, it's just an overlay. No, it's water. Yeah, okay. Wow, yeah. this is, uh, that's inter interesting. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> this is cool. It's, it's Did you hear that? Build, it's drip build, so it's going to favor the torque. 
Yeah, that's that's true. Dude, this is cool. I mean, I'm not into the anime stuff. Okay. I, but you can't take it off. It's part of the car's history. That's that's what I was. I'm not into anime either. But when I did a little digging into it, I was like, you know what? I got it. Somebody put the work in. The way they combine the logos and everything, like even back here, is really cool. You know. So I was like, it's, it's got a history. Somebody did something for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I honestly, so I honestly think that these cars are the most beautiful Japanese cars that came out of the 90s. I I, I love the way they look. The sculpted lines. I mean, did you eat lead chips? Lead paint as a child. Listen, Lexus owner. All right, I really love the way these look. NSX I think X and FD. Yeah. For, for looks. Absolutely. And Supra and GTR performance. Yeah. Yeah. This is, a, this is a beautiful car. I mean, past past all the the layers on top. You know. That, that is the only reason I like it. Honestly. Yeah. Okay. How about this? So I take off the stickers, put them in a box, and I'll give them to you. You'll ruin it. So what is a mid child A system? That's this is gonna get us demonetized. I don't. I'm not not touching that with a ten foot pole. What what do these do? If that gets you demonetized. If, yep. made a good decision what do you think I mean this could be a lot more fun with work where uh, FD is fun now okay so I hope you guys didn't think I would leave you without a first drive of this car uh, there's a there's some mold on the seats, so um, I'm gonna try not to get too close. One thing right off the bat that I really really like is this Momo steering wheel. It has a removable has a remove has a remove the steering wheel comes off. So this thing is idling right now. It is pretty super quiet. I think it's most likely stock ish. I mean, other than the anime gauges. <laughs> it is quite bouncy in here. Cool and temp is good. My oil pressure is at zero. That's not good. Here we go. There's a really weird noise coming from the engine bay. Ooh. There's something that's not happy in that engine bay. It's like a really nasty creaking. So there is a lot of vibration coming from this thing. It is uh, idling fairly low. These things should be at around a thousand. And uh, I don't know if you can tell. It's, she's, she's a little lumpy. My oil pressure is at zero. And then it just jumps up a little bit. I don't know if that's normal. Ooh. This thing does not like to idle. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, so I have to be honest, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this RX-7, but I want you guys to tell me what you'd like to see me do with it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that same livery. A lot of you, I know, probably are fans of the, I think it's Itasha, 
uh, style. It's like an anime sort of mishmash style that you put on cars. It's really popular in Japan. I don't think it's caught on here just yet. And I'm sort of on the fence about it, but you guys can let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in an RX-7. Do you want like a clean, uh, just stock build? Do you want like a wide body veil side kit? I don't know, I'm open to everything, but I am very, very excited that I got that car. But until next time, this is me reminding you guys that on cars like my RX-7 that definitely need a little bit of work, well, a, a lot, a lot of work, you guys need to build them better, and to do that, you should always wrench every day.